This is Stephen L. Smith of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham, Washington. I'm a state licensed home inspector and a state licensed structural pest inspector. Water heater safety. It seems like a simple enough topic. Just about everybody's got a water heater. They're powered by gas, both natural gas and propane or electricity, and the tanks come in different sizes, 40 and 50 gallon capacities being the most common. Gas and electric water heaters are installed differently in many ways, but just the same they have lots in common. In this short video, I will discuss the most important safety issues. We'll begin with common defects found in the installation of temperature pressure relief or TPR valves. The TPR valve is the most important safety device in a water heater. In this case, while the valve is in place at the tank, there's no drain line. A drain line must be installed and it needs to terminate at an approved and visible location. This TPR valve is worthless. It's been blocked. It cannot function under any circumstances. If the thermostat on this tank was to malfunction and stay on, this water heater could explode. Here's a drain line that's too short, it's made of the wrong material, and if the tank should discharge, a person might be doused with hot water. When inspecting TPR valves and drain lines, the home inspector runs into a myriad of problems. Here's a common but unacceptable installation. The TPR valves routed into the wrong material, flex tubing, and the line runs uphill. A line that's routed up can lead to eventual failure of the TPR valve. This PVC plastic, again routed up, is another unacceptable tubing. In the previous photo, the copper flex tubing might accidentally be twisted up, even if it wasn't installed that way in the first place, and this PVC plastic is not rated for hot water. Oh, and you can't use a garden hose either. The TPR drain line must be made of an acceptable material, usually rigid copper or CPVC plastic. Here's a TPR valve that's routed into rigid tubing, but the diameter of the tubing's too narrow. The TPR drain line must be at least the same size as the outlet of the TPR valve, and that's typically three-quarter inch or larger tubing. Now we're looking at the other end of the line. The TPR drain line should not terminate in the crawl space. If the TPR valve discharges water, or if it fails, the leak could attract wood-destroying organisms to the crawl space. And make no mistake about it, these valves have been known to leak on occasion. Here's a TPR drain line that was worked on by a helpful painter. Remove the masking tape, install a 90 degree elbow and an extension of an appropriate length so it points down. This TPR drain is close to correct, except it's too high above grade. A TPR drain, inside or outside, should terminate about 6 inches to a maximum of 24 inches above grade or a floor, depending on the rules of the jurisdiction. Now let's talk water heaters and automobiles. Since water heaters are often located in garages, we need to protect them from cars. A bollard should be in place in front of water heaters and furnaces that are in the path of any forward-moving automobile. In garages, and this applies mainly to units installed prior to 2004, if the water heater doesn't have a sealed combustion chamber, it needs to be elevated 18 inches over the garage floor to reduce the risk of fire. In regions with seismic activity, a water heater must be strapped to protect it from tipping over during an earthquake. Today, the recommended strapping consists of bands near the top and the bottom of the water heater. In those same seismic regions, a gas water heater requires flexible gas line connectors, and all gas water heaters require a separate gas shutoff valve. Speaking of valves, water heaters should have a cold water shutoff valve on the tank so a person can work on or replace a tank without having to shut off water to the whole house. This safety warning applies to gas water heaters. Insulation in the attic above the appliance must not be packed around the bee vent. One inch of clearance is required between the bee vent and all combustibles, including insulation. Water heaters located in or over finished space require a drain pan and drain line to the outside, so any leaks will cause little or no damage to interior surfaces. Let's talk water temperature. This water is too hot. 
Set the water temperature no hotter than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The chances of a serious burn increase significantly as the water temperature goes up. To adjust the temperature on a gas tank, turn the thermostat or dial at the front of the tank. At an electric water heater, thermostats are under covers on the tank. High voltage wiring is present under those covers. Any adjustment should be performed by qualified and experienced parties. One final detail. In most circumstances, if you see a water pressure reducer in the system, then you have what's called a closed system. So look for a thermal expansion tank for the water heater. It's not always the case, but usually it looks like the small tank at the top of this water heater. If you know that you have a pressure reducer in the system, but you don't see a thermal expansion tank, then talk to a plumber. This is Stephen L. Smith of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham, Washington. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. King of the House serves the northwest corner of Washington State, focusing on Whatcom, Skagit, and Island Counties. Stephen L. Smith is a Washington State licensed home inspector, a licensed structural pest inspector, a HUD FHA registered inspector, lead instructor of home inspection training at Bellingham Technical College, and a member of the Washington State Home Inspector Licensing Board.